Hello everybody and welcome back to the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United. So we've resigned, we won the Premier League, we won the Champions League and we completed our objectives with Sheffield United. But how would they get on once we leave the club? Let's look forward for five years and see how they performed. So as you can see I am now an unemployed manager. We have went one year ahead after leaving Sheffield United and the first question is they've finished fifth in the Premier League. They did not qualify for Champions League competitions one year after leaving. They hired Jurgen Klopp as the manager. Is he the only manager since I've left? He is. Um, he's done pretty three cup wins. What did they win? They won the League Cup, European Super Cup and Euro English Community Shield. So they won the League Cup, basically. Um, what? So they finished fifth in the Premier League. I'm pretty surprised at that. Now, I didn't expect Sheffield United to continue like winning the Premier League and getting to the last stages of the Champions League. I thought maybe their squad might end up being poached by the bigger boys and then them not being able to recover post that. But fifth, it's a little bit of a disappointment, particularly getting the likes of Jurgen Klopp to manage the club. So, again, not 77 points is not a bad haul. What happened the summer after I left? Iliax Mariba left for £114 million to join Chelsea, an absolutely wonderful Spanish central midfielder. Um, he done absolutely amazing stuff for us. Jean-Pierre left for £70 million. Now, that is... A seal I would have made, hands down. Luca Pellegrini ended up joining Lazio for £36.5 million. He was basically our starting left wing back, so I'm definitely sensing a, a change in formation. And just look at this summer. This is the summer I left compared to all of my summers. Never mind. Reese James, who we signed as a back right wing back, left. Uh, Malta Hemmingson left, out one of our youngsters. And yeah, pretty much. I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed the Sol Mariba, but the likes of Jean Pierre. Is a very good sale at £70 million. They signed Marcus Rashford, Jack Grealish, Karamoka Dembele. They're definitely going for all the English talent that, that I pretty much didn't go for. But just looking at the signings here, particularly with the likes of Jack Grealish and Dembele, they are looking for wingers. So my guess is Jurgen Klopp ended up changing to a more normal winger system. Nathan Ake signed from Manchester United for £37 million. I'm not sure who he was replacing. We had plenty of good centre-backs. Johnny from Wolves, uh, he must have been the Luca Pellegrini replacement, a poor replacement, might I add, at 30 years old when they signed him, for £24 million. Ben Godfrey, another English uh, defensive midfielder, who can also play at centre-back. So no major rejoin in signings, who I'm surprised about. Xavier Angulo was the only one who's currently on loan at Villarreal, didn't make too many first-team competitions, uh, places for Villarreal. I'm surprised. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed in some of them signings. You know, they've definitely broke my golden rule of not signing players who are too old. But they did keep hold of the likes of Danny Olmo, who I suspected might have left the club. Uh, Erling Haaland's still at the club as well, I suspect. Yeah, Florian Monzon's out on loan. Uh, Spastiano Esposito was still at the club and looking very, very good indeed. So, fifth place. Didn't win the Champions League, I don't think. No, they definitely didn't. They got to the final, though. And got beat on penalties by Liverpool. That is really unfortunate. Let's see how they did in the second season. So we are into the second season since I have left the club. And they finished seventh in the Premier League. They are currently without a manager. Let's see what happened to Jurgen Klopp. He has just been sacked after basically two years at the club. Ugh, very, very disappointing. Won nothing in his second season. And he's well out of the Champions League spots. Let's take a look at the transfers. And see who left the club. I'm, I'm a little bit gutted at how poorly they've performed. Josh Timon's left the club. Alan Virginius, who was a young right winger who I signed years ago, purely to make profit on, ends up leaving the club for £11.25 million. Bruno Amione, 5.75. Adrian Robust, another young star we signed. And the rest of them are just pretty much young guns who are eventually leaving the club. Two signings in. Aaron Wambasaka as a right back, 28 years old from Leon for. How much was that? £61 million. And Andreas Christiansen for £53 million at centre-back. Two older players once again going against the club philosophies we had developed um, at the club. So Jurgen Klopp has ended up paying the price for that. In terms of European competitions, did they get to the Europa League final? They did not. They got to the quarter-final. And the FA Cup final, well, they of course got beat off Liverpool as they tend to like to do. In terms of the Premier League, 64 points. That's such a poor return. For the sort of quality that was in the squad two seasons ago. Man City have claimed their dominance back at the top of the table since we've won the league. After disrupting Liverpool's three titles in a row. 
Um, let's have a look at the players. See who's actually getting game time here. John Pickford's still number one. Danny Olmo, Jerome Jean, Esposito still getting plenty of game time. Tilo Kerr's out on loan. Uh, Marcus Rashford, probably one of their best signings since I left the club. But he's still at 28 years old. He wouldn't have been my first choice. Marcus Antonio's getting game time. Dembele, Ake, Ben Godfrey. Um, they're still using some of our players. Uh, the likes of David Patella, I'm very surprised they are no longer using. Probably uh, because of the signs of like Andreas Christiansen. Same with Erling Haaland. He doesn't really get the game time that he used to under me. Only start 26 games. Uh, not even started. Started nine games this season, getting six goals in the Premier League. I will be very surprised if he is still at the club next season. But um, very, very disappointed in the second season. Let's move on to the third. See if they can bounce back with a better manager. And we're at the third season. Let's see how Sheffield United perform second in the Premier League. Much, much better. They, they actually appointed Allegri after Jurgen Klopp, which seems to have been a better fit for the club. They've won one cup, the, the Euro Cup 2, um, which I don't even know what it's been called in real life. But they ended up beating Villarreal in the final anyway. A trophy is a trophy. In terms of the Premier League table, then, they were still far away behind Manchester City, but they have performed much, much better than they did in the previous season. As we can see here, they only ended up getting 64 points last season. 84, 20 points difference is pretty huge. Um, only getting beat six times, much, much improved. So what actually changed in terms of the transfers? I'm assuming they done well, he didn't actually do that much business. I thought he would have. Marcus Antonio left the club, one of our signings, twenty-four and a half million pounds. Um, not a great fee for him, I wouldn't I wouldn't say. Florian Monzon left. Ali El Sayed, one of our young Egyptians, left. Johnny and nobody Willem Gwibel's on a free. He was worth about twenty five million when I left. They could have easily sold him for around that fee. Never mind, he's ended up joining Sampdoria. I hope he has a good career post that. Where's Wayne Knowles? I haven't seen Wayne. I need to know what he's doing. He's still at Sheffield United. Um, has he been going out? Oh, he's listed. He's transfer listed. He's been out on loan the previous two seasons. Um, well, that's disappointing. Never mind. He's spent three seasons at uh, Sheffield United, not being able to develop. I might have been able to force it out of him, but never mind. In terms of the signings, Christian Dulls from Schalke for £89 million. Pounds of a fantastic striker. He's the reason. They signed him in January. He's probably the reason they're finishing second. And if they, have, if they are to have any success in the following seasons, it'll probably be down to Christian Dolls. The other signing was Sander Berge, who must be old by now. He is 29 years old. They paid how much for him? Ugh, £80 million. Pounds. That's... They're not seeing the return on the money for these signings. They are definitely chucking money at the wall. But um, never mind. Let's move on to season four. Definite uh, definite improvement after Allegri's come in though. On to season four. And let's see what Sheffield did. Third in the Premier League. Not too shabby at all. Massimo Allegri is still the manager of Sheffield United. And third is not a bad spot. Six points less than they got last season. Um, but still a pretty comfortable Champions League finish for Sheffield United, which is what I was hoping for. I didn't expect them to be able to keep themselves at the top of the league, but keeping themselves in the top four is the best thing for them. Massimo Allegri, um, how many competitions did he win this season, if any? He didn't win any, but um, finishing third, I'm sure the expectations from the board wasn't too high. In terms of the Champions League, where did he end up finishing? He got the semi-finals, not too bad, getting knocked out by PSG 4-1 on aggregate. That's not the end of the world. In terms of the transfers, any of our boys, oh, £283 million spent. Ben Godfrey left, Tilo Kerra left for £26 million, rising to 35 Wayne Knowles. Wayne Knowles left for £22.5 million, and he's not getting game time at Spurs either. That leaves me so sad. He's listed at Spurs. I hope he can go to... Maybe a mid-table Premier League side and start developing, but at 24, 24 years old now, it's pretty unlikely. Dodo left the club as well. He joined Spurs as well. Is he getting game time? He is. Um, our right wing back. He's 29 years old, though, so it's probably a decent sale. Jack Grealish leaving. Nobody. Renato Sanchez going to Bournemouth on loan. What a strange loan out. Why are we loaning Renato Sanchez out? Not selling him. If he's not getting game time, just sell him. You could have made a fortune. But never mind. Um, Erling Haaland went out on loan. What? What? What is Allegri doing to my boys? He's went out on loan to Spurs. Had a terrible season. Fifteen starts, only four goals. I think I might have had one of the very worst versions of Erling Haaland on Football Manager 20 in this year in particular. 
But let's take a look at some of the ins. We'll start with Sam Binch. £77 million. A very, very good English central midfielder. He is worth £77 million purely because he's English. But if this guy's Argentinian, he's not worth that. Um, but a decent signing nonetheless at 22 years old. At least they're not signing people in the late 20s. As seems to have become a bit of a habit since I've left the club. Pedri for £72 million, And I know he's in his mid-20s. A decent player. He's not like me. Is he that great? I mean, I don't think he is. His technicals are fantastic. So are his mentals. But um, I wouldn't say he's £70-odd million pounds worth when he's 25 years old. Timothy Wint is £54 million. He's a decent little player. Belgian. Uh, defensive midfielder. Hopefully he can. Uh, he's still got room to grow, and he can move into the into the role a little bit more. A Spanish left wing back from who was that? Was that Villarreal? Olympic Marseille. Thirty five and a half million pounds. Decent, decent attacking um, left wing back. Uh, probably better than Luca Pellegrini. Maybe, maybe not offensively, but uh, yeah, he looks okay. Oscar Martinez. Oh no, him, him. He's a little bit something. A Mexican, twenty one years old. How much did they pay for him? This is an absolute bargain. £33.5 million. The best signing so far, apart from that German striker? Probably. Martin Ojeda for £11 million. He's a decent Argentinian. He's probably been playing back up, which he has. Um, third. That's okay. Fifth and final season. Let's see how they got on. And into the final season with Sheffield United. Where did they finish this time? Sheffield... They won the league five seasons after we've left the club and they have finally retained the Premier League title. Allegri has led them to glory and bring them back the Premier League title. One league win, one cup win, which of course was in his first season and he has done the same job we had done. So congratulations to Allegri, congratulations to Sheffield United. I'm very surprised they've actually been able to go back and win the Premier League once I left. And I saw some of the signs over the first couple of seasons. I thought they'd ruined the squad in all honesty. But top goal scorer Christian Dolls. He is something special. They have signed an absolute world beater here for £89 million. Um, let's have a look at the Premier League table. See how many points by one point. 95 points is nothing to sneeze at. That's more than we ever got. Is it? I'm not even sure. But I think it is. Uh, fantastic, fantastic haul. And... Really, really good. Really pleased. Let's see what sort of transfers they did over the summer and see if any of our boys are still surviving. Dean Henderson left. Angel Villa left. Gula, no, nobody interesting uh, left the club in terms from what we would recognise. Fernando Perez joined the club for £58 million, A decent 23-year-old goalkeeper. Probably bought to replace an agent, Jordan Pickford. Um, come on, game. Back to Jovan Pusinich from Olympic Marseille for £48.5 million. Pounds. Another left-back. Um, probably better than the one they assigned last season, but I'm not sure why they need two mid-20s left-backs for big money. Marcelo Aweed from Getafe for £40 million, who is a decent Argentinian right-back. Very good physicals, um, well-rounded everywhere else. In terms of the squad, is there any of our boys still clinging on there and still getting plenty of game time? So, Jerome Onjean, one of our very first signings for Sheffield United, is still alive and kicking, 31 years old now. Turned into a world-class centre-back. And he's been absolutely fantastic. Danny Olmo. One of the first I thought to, would be leaving the club. To be honest with you. Um, we were always getting interested bids from the likes of PSG and Barcelona. But he has stayed at the club. Christian Dolls is great. Marks Rashford. Anyway, Art Bella Kochap still in the first-team squad. Getting plenty of game time. £65 million worth at 27 years old now. Job Pickford still getting game time. Esposito still getting game time. Where is Erling Haaland? He's not getting game time, dear me. He has, he has fell off the edge of the earth after we left the club. So when was that? Was that this season? That season? I can't It was this season we left. So since we've left, he's got maybe 35 goals in four seasons. That's pretty poor. In all honesty, really, really poor. Um, David Patella as well. They're really wasting some of his uh, current ability as well. But never mind. We're not the manager anymore. Uh, five years on. They didn't manage to win the Champions League game, but they did get to a final. And they did manage to win the Premier League title again, even after we've left. Only two managers, Jurgen Klopp and Massimiliano Allegri. Just uh, some nice signings, some bad signings, uh, as there is with every single manager in, in charge of every single football club. Well, that's going to be it for the look forward to Sheffield United. If you'd like to see another five years to see where they are ten years after we've left, 
please let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like on the video, get yourself subscribed, and until next time, take it easy.